Hi everyone, so today I am filming the Lazy Day tag and I don't really have an explanation. I'm wearing a sweatshirt because I thought it went well with the tag and today is definitely Lazy Day. It's been raining for the past few days. There's apparently a hurricane somewhere near Connecticut or something or a tornado or something. I don't know, but it's been raining for the past few days and it's still going to continue to rain until Tuesday. And I'm filming this on Sunday, if you're wondering. But yeah, so lazy attire. I'm even wearing like running shorts. So, oh my god, I match them all pink. How cute. Let's get into the video. Good video. Okay, so the first category I'm looking down because my laptop is actually on the floor and it says the categories on it. So there's a few categories and so let's just, you know, jump in as I said. First category is hair products. Um, I don't really do anything with my hair on a lazy day. Like, as you can see, it's either down usually or it's in like a, a French braid because I just usually like it out of my face. Or I'll put it up, so here are my hair products. Um, but if I'm going out, I'll wear a beanie and you guys know I have multiple beanies. I'm not even going to show them. Um, if I'm going out and it's a lazy day, I will wear a beanie. So, or I'll just throw my hair up, or I'll just be like messy and down. Today I like curled it with a big, I don't know how big this is, but it's like a pretty large curling iron. But since it was raining, um, it kind of fell out and only the ends are like a little waved. So, but yeah, these are the things that I use when I'm staying home. When I think of a lazy day, I'm thinking about like staying home and doing nothing, you know? But I guess I'll give you a variety. So if I'm going out, I'll wear a beanie. If I'm staying home, honestly, there's an, if I'm going out, I have the option to also use a beanie. But if I'm going out, I can also put it up in a ponytail with, um, you know, a hair tie or a bun. Or I can take like a little elastic and put it in a French braid and go out. Honestly, like, I never do anything really with my hair. Today I was just like testing out that curling iron because I never really use it. So I wanted to see if I like it, but I didn't, so... The next category is makeup look and makeup products. Well, once again, I don't wear makeup when I'm at home, but if it's like, and I wear like the same exact makeup look every single day. So I guess I can show you what I use every single day. So for my face, I use the Rub On Color Stay Foundation. I've been using this for like as long as I could remember. Honestly, it's the only foundation that I've ever liked. Um, so yeah, I use it. Oh my God, ratchet hair. I hate it. Oh my God. It's the only foundation that I've ever really liked and um, the only one I've ever really used for an extended amount of time. And I just like buff it in with like a fluffy, with, like this kind of brush and get it with like a flat top, whatever it's called, brush. And then for concealer, I use the Age Rewind, Instant Age Rewind. Um, dark spot. So it like brightens and removes dark spots. So that's what I use under my eyes and over my veiny eyes because I don't really wear eyeshadow. I don't wear eyeshadow at all actually. And my powder is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Honestly, my foundation routine will never ever change. And then for eye makeup, I use all of these, not really a lot. For my eyeliner, I actually started using this, and this is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense with the felt tip because I used to have the brush tip, but that's hard to do the wings with, so I got the felt tip version, and it's a lot better, so I'm just like, you know, it's a felt tip because I used to have the brush tip, but I didn't like it. And then I started using the Maybelline Line Stiletto, but it was just like, it would dry out so fast, and it would like like fall off during the day like my eyeliner would fade off and it was so annoying because like you know I want my wings to last forever so this is really good I sh oh my god I should have got why don't oh my gosh I should have a waterproof I just realized this now it happens and then I line my waterline and my tight line with the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil that I've always used and then for mascara I use the um, Maybelline Lash Stiletto, and then on top of that, I use the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. So I use these two mascaras, and to smudge out my eyeliner on the bottom, I use this quad usually. I don't know, just because it's convenient. 
and sometimes if I do want to wear some kind of eyeshadow, I will use this like white eyeshadow here just to like, highlight my inner corner, which I usually have time to do every single day. And this is the Maybelline Stylish Smokes Quad in Amethyst Smokes, and I just blend these three dark colors together and smudge out the eyeliner and I'm good to go. The next category is outfits. So basically if I'm staying home, I'll be wearing like a sweatshirt or like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. Uh, usually I'm wearing a sweatshirt. And either shorts or sweatpants. I don't really wear leggings because I don't find leggings to be that comfortable when I'm like lounging because I want to be it's everything to be like nice and oversized. So I have like a bunch of sweatpants. I'm not going to show you because they're sweatpants. I'll show you what I'm wearing right now. So this is um obviously a Yukon sweatshirt cool and it's pink and then I'm wearing these shorts because it's hot in my room and then I'm just I just I'm always wearing socks I even sleep in socks so yeah I hate feet that's why and if I'm going out and I want to be lazy which is usually every time I go out I'm wearing like leggings a t-shirt and a leather jacket and I'm good to go and if I don't want to do that then I'll usually wear my hair and pants um, with like a loose shirt and then my leather jacket and some comfy shoes and honestly like my style is all about cuteness and comfort so um, I'm usually comfortable unless I'm wearing like a skirt next category is coffee or tea and tea and or tea okay well I have both because um, if I'm staying home and I want coffee or tea I have my little I have a Keurig so I use these two in my Keurig um, this is the tea that I've been liking a lot recently. It's actually in my little mug right here. I got this from the Dollar Tree. How cool. I love it. And this is the, um, Celestial Seasonings. I don't know how to pronounce it. No one really does. Lemon Zinger Herbal Tea. And they only have this, like, flavor in the tea, in the Keurig form from the brand because I really like the wild berry one as well but I don't have it and I don't really drink it that often but if they had it in the Keurigs I probably would and then if I'm making coffee in my Keurig I'll use this this is the only coffee that I drink and it's the Starbucks house blend it's a medium roast that you can buy and I really like it and then when I'm making my coffee I'll mix in three packets of um Nestle rich milk chocolate flavored hot chocolate basically I have three left because I made coffee the other day. And then I'll also put some whipped cream on top. And then it just, it's so good. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's just flawless. And yeah, and I actually got that idea from um, Hero Dynamic and Shelby Church. So Monica and Shelby. Because I watched one of their morning routines once. And they mixed in like hot chocolate mix into their coffee. And I thought it looked so, so good. So I tried it and it was amazing. So I like three because I like the really strong flavor you feel and then if I'm making just normal tea so I do have like a little tea kettle pot thing it's an electric tea boiler um like water boiler you know whatever um I'll use this tea and this I also get from Starbucks because I don't know where else you can get it and this is the Tazo passion tea so I don't have a lot left Ugh. the tins are very nice as well I feel like I'm gonna sneeze I only have three left and they're like the full leaf teas. They're not like powdery like most of them are. They're like, you can see it. They smell really good. And I really, really like this tea. So that's what I choose for my tea or coffee. Snacks and sweets. Um, okay, I have like a bunch. I have four things. Yeah. So these are the smallest ones. So I've been loving these. Okay, when I was like little... Um, and I stayed at like I needed a babysitter. I stayed at my Nana's house, which isn't actually like my grandparents But they're like my adopted grandparents, you know, they were like my nannies and my Nana and Poppy would always buy this after we got out of their pool and then we would eat it and then we'd have to wait 10 minutes and go back in the pool and I just saw this the other day at Walmart and I was like oh my god and I just needed it and it's, they're so good. They're the best cookies ever like Go get you some of this. Take a look at it. Screenshot this and get it, okay? Because it's amazing. You won't, you will not be. What does it mean? Like, it's on the tip of my tongue. You will not be disappointed. And then this is also really good. I saw this at BJ's, and I actually like the salted one a lot better. I don't know. I like salty and chocolate together. I've always, I always have. 
Um, but this is the chocolate chip one. It's brownie brittle. It's basically like um, the taste of a brownie, but it's like all the edges. So I personally like the edges the most of a brownie because they're crunchy. So this is, oh god, so hard to open. This is like, they come in like squares. Okay, this is not a good example. This isn't either, but it comes in like these little squares and they basically just taste like brownies. But they're crunchy, so it's really good. And yeah, so that's really good. I've been eating that recently. And then if I want like chocolate, like just straight up chocolate, I don't really like Hershey's chocolate that much. Like there's chocolate that's better and it's this one. I don't know where you can get it because my aunt brought it from Poland. So it's called Mil Milka, like milk and A at the end. So I don't know, but this is the best. This is a product of Poland. I don't know, but it's good. And then my last oh, snack is definitely these. These are the best. This is actually my second box this big of Cheez-Its. I get them from BJ's in like this huge box. And then they come with like the little like snack bags, you know. And um, that are really, really good. It comes with 36 of them. And I just have them like near my bed. And I just... I actually, how convenient, and I just take one and I eat it and then I love it, and I'm happy for the rest of the day. Okay, last one, pampering items, lotions, candles, etc. I don't pamper myself, to be honest, I don't remember the last time I did, but I do like burning candles. Um, this is one of them that I've actually been loving so, so much, it just smells so good, and actually, um, since now I have a hamster and she pees a lot and poops a lot. Her poop doesn't really stink though. They're like dry little things. The TMI, I don't know. But like she doesn't poop that much. Um, but she pees a lot and her pee stinks. And so, um, my whole room is kind of starting to stink. Like, I mean, I clean it a lot, but it's still like, you know, it's there. Like she's in here. And so I like burning candles to kind of like eliminate that. And I also have like scented plugins. So this is the candles that I love to burn. This is the peach mango. I love fruity smells. Like even my plugins are like mango and pineapple, like pineapple mango, something like that. It's like high Hawaiian paradise from Glade, Glade. Um, but yeah, peach mango from Walmart. And I get them in the big things because I burn a lot of it, as you can tell. I just have it burning like basically all day. I actually have another one burning. Can you see it? Oh, you can see it. That is, um, damn it. I don't remember. Oh, it's cranberry mandarin. So that's what that is. And that is all of my lazy day tag. I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to comment what you think and I tag all of you to do this so if you make it let me know and then tweet it to me and what else oh check out all my links my social media everything is linked at the end of this well all of its pictures of it I don't know watch my last video it is linked at the end of this video and all my social media links are down below and yeah I love you all and have an awesome day bye